Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, we are back with the Maytag Bravos XL set. This is a matching set that I trash picked a couple days ago. And I've already did a video on it. I've already done a video on these on the washer only. Uh, but today's video, this is going to be uh, why were they thrown away too? part two um but i've already done the washer um but i think what's going on with the washer is the clutch there's something to do with the clutch i think that's what's going on but um but i'll do another video on it in the future of the on the washer i'll do another video because I'll, i'm going to do another video on how to put this thing in diagnostic mode and um show you guys how to enter diagnostic mode how to check for fault codes how to do the test modes and calibration all that stuff so i'll show you how to do that in another video um but i think um uh, I think something's going on with uh, the shifter, which this one doesn't really have a shifter. It's more of a clutch. Uh, it's basically like a plastic piece with a spring. Uh, basically, it comes as, a, as an assembly, but I think those parts are worn out and need replacing because uh, the clutch is failing. Because it's not shifting like it's supposed to. So anyways, I think that's what's going on with the washer. So, uh, but I've done the washer already. And you can see it comes on, um, but yeah. But I've done the washer already, but I think that's what's wrong with the washer is the clutch. Something's wrong with the clutch. Uh, the, the wash plate is turning like it's spinning but it's not spinning with the basket while it's in spin cycle or in spin mode so uh so yeah i'll have to have a take a look i'm probably going to take a look at the the clutch um but just to verify you can put it in service mode and you can check for fault codes to see what the problem is so that's probably what i'm going to do but anyways uh like i said I've done the washer already so close that and in this video we are going to move on to the dryer I have not done the dryer yet but this is like I said a part two video of why were they thrown away so this is the dryer <clears throat> so matching dryer And you can see the it has a light in here. It has a light. That's pretty cool. Light. This has lint in it and a whole bunch of lint down there. It's really dirty down in there. I'll put it back like that. And um, let's see. From what I'm hearing, this dryer is making a knocking noise. It sounds like it because I can hear like a knock. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but uh, take a listen. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but this thing's making a knocking noise, it sounds like. But, um, anyways, uh, with this thing being beat up looking and 
being in poor shape it looks like i think i'm gonna get it back in order but it's gonna take some work um but let's see what this thing does so anyways close it up the light goes away uh i wonder if he even comes on let's see i really haven't done much of anything so anyways let's see if it turns on move this out of the way so let's see does it come on it does come on um but anyways uh normal cycle and we're just gonna we're just gonna press start see what it does so like i said All right, let's go ahead and see what this thing does. Here we go. All right, so it's running. That's what it's making. Well, let's see. Let's open the door. The lid switch does work. That's pretty cool. It is warm in here, which is a good thing. Heat no one's working. And let's press start again. So, yeah, it's it's beat up. See, that's that's all. That's in horrible. This is in horrible shape right here. That's in horrible shape. This, all of this right here is in horrible shape. This looks to be all dirty and rusted, and I don't even know what that is, and all of this and that. This being all dirty. Look in there. And it's, it looks like this dryer is just caked and crap in the inside of this dryer. I can't wait to tear this dryer apart. So, uh, but, uh, this weekend I'm going to be, uh, going out of town. So there won't be any videos, uh, after this one, most likely. So, uh, but anyways, uh, but I'll be back Wednesday. So just know from Saturday to Wednesday, 
I'll be out of town, so no videos <clears throat> on those days. But anyways, the dryer's running. This one's making noise. And this is how the dryer sounds. So yeah, it, it makes noise. It's got kind of a knocking noise. It's got a little knocking noise to it. So But it does run. light here that says good airflow so it's still getting good airflow which is a good thing and you can see it jumped down to one minute because of the normal cycle and there's nothing in the dryer the dryer has detected nothing in the dryer so uh, if it detected nothing in the dryer then it's gonna jump down to either two or one minute But, um, yeah, it's got one minute, but I'm kind of surprised that this says good airflow. Oh, we're done. Lovely little song. So, it, it finished. So, I mean, but like I was saying before, this light right here, good airflow, uh, kind of surprised because uh this thing looks to be extremely dirty like i'm not even kidding look there's lint there's lint like coming out right here i i can't wait just to see um what the what the inside of this dryer looks like i really can't wait because it looks super dirty and these screws are uh rusted but, I mean, this dryer is in poor shape. Uh, it looks like it's been through hell. So, <clears throat> but anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so, this is the washer. This is the dryer. Uh, but... Uh, that's it. So... Uh, but I'll show you guys the model numbers of these. Uh, MVW B835DW0. Uh, May 2016. And I don't think I showed the model number on the dryer. So this is model number. MEDB835DW3 also from 2016 so that is it for this video so done the washer done the dryer both washers seem to work or i mean excuse me washer seems to work dryer seems to work washer seems like it has something to do with the clutch and dryer seems to work just fine uh it's got a little knocking noise to it and it's it really needs some, some uh, paint work and needs to work to this. This dryer's been through hell, obviously. So, because it's all beat up right here. It's it's beat up all over the place. So, um, uh, that's going to be it, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Maytag matching set saved from the garbage. So, anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys in the next video. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. And that is going to be it for today. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, guys. Peace out.